In this video, you will learn how to add borders to your images. So as you can see on line 24, you already have an image. Uh, it's an image of a puppy, and it's already been resized with height and width. And now we want to add some style to it. So right before the height, I'm going to type in the word style equals open quote. I'm going to type in border colon. And the first thing I'm going to add is my border size. So I'm going to start with 5px. Then I'm going to put the type of border. So in this, type, in this first one, I'm going to try solid. And then I'm going to put the color. So I'm going to do blue. And then close my quote. So if I go to save, publish, deploy as web app, new version, added border, update, latest code, you'll see I have my puppy photo and now I have a border. Notice my kitty photo also already has a border, but the border is a lot thicker. If I go back to my file, and this is line 20 is the image for the kitty cat, you'll see my border is 20 pixels as opposed to just the 5 pixels for my dog picture. So changing the pixel size will change the, the thickness of your border. Now you can also change this to dashed and if I run it or publish it, hit latest code, you'll see now it's a dashed border. I could also do what's called a dotted border, publish it, deploy as web app, latest code, so now it's little dots going around, or the last option would be to do a double border Save, publish, deploy as web app, latest code. You'll see now I have a double border. And if I can also go to my color picker, HTML color picker, and I use my W3 Schools website. And let's say I want a specific shade now of blue. I can, instead of using the word blue, copy the code come back to my HTML file, take out the word blue, sub that in, and maybe I'll make this border thicker now with 10 pixels, save, publish, deploy as web app, update my latest code, and you see the shade of my blue has changed, my border is a little bit thicker than it was in the previous one, as you can see as I jump back and forth between the two, so there's more space between my double lines. So you're going to play around with your borders. You have a lot of freedom of choice in terms of whether you use solid, dotted, dashed, or double, and then the thickness and the color of your borders.